What does Hamas want and what are its wider aims? Here's our Middle East correspondent, Paul Wood. Israelis fear Hamas as a threat to their very survival. The Islamist group's founding charter says Israel will exist until Islam eliminates it. It promises to raise the banner of Allah over every inch of Palestine. That document was written 20 years ago. Hamas has evolved since then. Last year, one of its leaders told the BBC how coexistence with Israel might be possible. We could accept a state based on the 67 borders, he says. But Israel insists on continuing its occupation of our land, so we have no choice but to resist. The 1967 war gave Israel control of the West Bank and Gaza. Hamas moderates could live with an Israel which reversed those gains. But Hamas will always really believe that land Israel took at its birth in 1948 is truly Palestinian. That's why even pragmatists like the Hamas leader in Gaza, Ismail Haniyeh, will never be trusted by Israel. When he talks about occupation, he's not talking about the West Bank or Gaza. He's talking about Tel Aviv. He's talking about Haifa. He's talking about Israel proper. That's the fundamental problem with Hamas. They're not a nationalist organization. They're a jihadist organization. <laughs> In the West Bank today, Hamas supporters clashed with the secular nationalists of Fatah. Confronting the Israelis clearly wasn't the main business of the day. A little bit of unrest in the West Bank isn't going to deter the Israeli armed forces from their offensive in Gaza. But all this anger could strengthen Hamas in its internal dispute with Fatah. Simply by enduring, the Islamists will claim victory and a new, more hard-line Hamas could result, one less willing to talk about living with Israel on the 67 borders. Paul Wood, BBC News, Jerusalem.